Women often come to me and ask, how can I turn my health and fitness back around? How can I slow down the ticking clock of aging? And interestingly, I have found working with women for three decades now, that firstly, we need to understand what the relationship with ourself is all about. Because as we start to take those steps toward getting back into health, fitness and wellness, we often find that resistance will rear its ugly head throughout the journey. And what I mean by resistance are things like, things will pop up that will stop you from doing your workouts, um, life will throw challenges, and the weather will even come into play and you'll go, oh, it's too cold to get out of bed, or your health may take a turn and you go, I'm too tired to exercise today, or the kids may ring, you know, I need you to come and babysit and do this and do that and do this and do that. And so I'll often say to my clients, we need to understand how to create a good relationship with ourself. And if we are able to learn those tools and practice them, well, we find that results are forthcoming a lot easier. The next thing I would say is my clients need to become clear about what their intention is around health, fitness and wellness. And I say that because if we're not understanding of what we're truly wanting to achieve, well, it can be really difficult to know how to get there if we don't know what the destination is. And so you can imagine if somebody came to me in their 20s and said to me, I want to be a marathon runner. And somebody else came to me in their 20s and said, I want to be a power lifter. Well, they would be needing very different types of programs, yeah. So as women in our 50s and going through our menopausal years, we are all quite unique in what our history has given us and where we're sitting today and what we need to be able to progress to be able to achieve our health, fitness and wellness goals. So for some women, they will be taking the very first step from a place where they may not of been exercising for many years, um, suffering chronic disease, um, overweight, tired, lethargic, and for other women who potentially may have been looking after their um, exercise and fitness, they could be coming to me with sore joints and injuries. And so I need my clients to understand clearly what they're wanting to achieve. Is it that they're wanting to achieve fat loss, regain their body shape, get back their metabolism, energy, vitality, or is it that they're wanting to do more rehabilitation to lose the pain in their joints, to have more mobility and flexibility in their body, maybe get back their posture, less pain. So I would say that that is the important piece of the puzzle before we even start working out and that is our why. You know, as women come to me and we sit down, I believe it's important that we look at the lessons that we've learned from being younger women and I often find that the lessons that we learn is those diets really did not serve us. And so when we were younger, we were very much brought up in um, a diet mentality of, you know, 
if something was fat free, well, that meant that that was a good thing. If you ate um, less, like, you know, drank water, went on the soup diet, um, took those um, tablets that stopped you from being hungry, this was all the stuff that we were doing to lose weight. And so I believe we as wise women in our 50s need to listen to those lessons that were dealt, given to us. And those lessons really were that diets do not work, that crash diets, crash exercise programs, you know, go hard or go home type thing will no longer serve our body. And as women in our 40s, 50s, 60s and beyond, our body now is requiring a type of um, movement and nutrition that will lift our body up and not break our body down to build our body up. So we want to build back our lean muscle mass, our strength. We want to build back our heart health and our fitness. We want to reduce inflammation in our body, reduce the pain, the joint pain. We want to improve our mobility and reduce that stiffness in our body. We want to improve that continence in our body and reduce incontinence. So we're wanting to build things up. We're wanting to do it from a way that is quite um, supportive of us and no crash diets, no um, quick this or quick that. It just does no longer work for us. I also think that the rules of yesterday no longer serve us today. We definitely understand that. But I also believe as women in our 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, start looking around now and look at those women that are maybe a little bit ahead of you and choose those women that you would like to maybe be mentors in your life or those women that you start to listen to or look up to and start to really be observing them, curious, um, asking questions and you know whatever they're doing is obviously working if they're the type of woman that you want to become. And so if I talk about um, different case studies, like different clients that I've had, I know a key for many of my clients is the education. They'll say, I just love that I've learned this stuff. I didn't know all this information. And so I believe education does set you free. And I believe that we have so much education out here today in how to age well, how to slow down inflame aging in our body, how to be able to create a body that looks, acts and feels younger. And so there is a learning curve involved over the age of 50 because those old habits, tips, tricks and strategies will actually sabotage you now. So there is definitely a learning curve that needs to be had um, however, I believe a great assignment for all women, for all of us, is to look around amongst women in your community, um, online, that you are interacting with and go, that is who I want to be or that is who I do not want to be. So you may look at an older person that's hunched forward on a walking frame um, and you might go, gee, I don't want to be like that in my 80s. Or you might see a woman in her 60s running a fun run and got vitality and energy and you might go, gee, that's a woman that I wouldn't mind aging to be like. Or you may look at a woman that just, you know, we have a lady that comes to our local coffee shop and my goodness, ladies, she would be early 70s 
and she is stunning. Like she dresses um, as a fashionista in color and hats and but her posture is beautiful. I'm sure she must have been in some sort of dance academy in her younger day, but she sits so gracefully and so beautifully. And I often think to myself, gee, I hope when I'm her age that I'm able to sit as well as her. So it's those little things. You might see, you know, an older person that has lots of mobility and fluid through their body and you think, gee, I would like to age like that person. So a assignment before you even get started on your health and fitness journey is to look around and decide this is definitely who I would like to age to become and well, this is definitely probably who I don't want to become. And once you have that idea in your head, well, then we can start to take the steps to helping achieve those goals because anything and everything is possible. No matter what age we are, it is just taking those steps, but I believe it's taking those smart steps. You know, we there's a, um, a metaphor I'll finish with here and it's of a man that was stuck in the hole and he wanted to get out of the hole and so he got a shovel and he started digging 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 and he realized this wasn't helping him get out of the hole in fact it was making the hole deeper and he started calling out for help and somebody came along and they had a ladder and he went thank goodness for that and so they put the ladder down there and he started using the ladder like a shovel he started trying to dig with the ladder. And what the metaphor is trying to tell us is that sometimes we think, what is that saying about we think everything is a nail and we hit it with a hammer or something like that? It's like you need different tools for different results. And it is a matter of understanding what those tools are that we need to get us the results that we're after. And so we know it's not the tools of the olden days, but it is having that person in your life that can steer you in the direction that you're wanting to go and have you getting results, maximum results in minimum time because you're choosing the right exercises, you're choosing the correct nutrition, and well, your body will just work with that. It will love you for that, and you will start to see, feel, and have all those results.